Good morning guys, it's bright and early here in beautiful British Columbia. I'm just making a quick cup of coffee and you've been asking for a tour video of the van, so here it is. So I make coffee every morning. You don't have to give up the luxuries in life just because you live in a van. Welcome to the tour of my tiny house. We can start in the kitchen. So here's my kitchen. I have this Iwatani stove. I love this stove. It's removable, so I can put it away when I'm not using it, have extra counter space. I can also cook outside when it's nice, which is really cool. I got my sink here, do my dishes. I have 25 gallons of fresh water in the sink. And then I have my mini fridge down here. Got my food. So yeah, this is really all the kitchen space that I need. Um, I like to cook. I cook pretty much every meal here in the van. I don't really like to eat out that much, so definitely enjoy my kitchen a lot. So moving on to the office. Um, I'll sit down here if I'm doing my work. Um, this, this space really doubles, you know, kitchen, bedroom, office, everything that I need. I have a lap desk when I'm doing work on the computer right here. I have lots of storage. So I have my drawers here. I have more kitchen storage in here. And so really I found a place for everything which has been nice and storage hasn't really been an issue recently. So moving on to the bedroom. Here's my bed. Um, I recently just blew out that back wall which has been super nice. It really opened up the space. Now I can see out the back. I also extended my bed so I added storage along here. So I have extra storage for my clothes. The rest of my clothes, they go down here in the boat seat. So definitely had to get rid of a lot of clothes when I moved into the van, but it's been great. I don't miss them and simple life's the way to go. Of course, most importantly, gotta go check out where I keep my bikes. Beautiful day here in British Columbia. And here is my bike storage. Like I said, I just blew up my back wall. So my bed's up here. Got all my shoes here and I can fit three or four bikes in here without turning bars. Right now I just have my mountain bike and my road bike, which is all I really need. Um, yeah, you can kind of check out. It's a little messy right now, but here's the gear space. And uh, back there in the corner is my fresh water as well as my gray water tank, um, so I can fill it up. Weather outside's taking a little bit of a turn. Can you hear the rain on the roof and thunder? I actually love rainy days in the van when I can climb up here in bed and get cozy with a good book. So I want to make some more videos about what life is like on the road and in the van. It seems like you guys always ask me a lot of questions, so let me know in the comments below what you want to see more of and what you have questions about. Um, my goal would be just to make going outside of your comfort zone seem a little bit less intimidating and more accessible for people. You don't, want to ha you don't have to want to move into a van, but whatever it is that you want to do, whatever your dream is, if I could help you pull the trigger, that would be awesome. Um, I've never regretted moving into the van, even when it's been uncomfortable, even though there have been struggles, of course. It's been the greatest experience of my life, and I wouldn't give it up for the world. So I want to share it with you guys, and I look forward to making more videos.